There is a legal battle brewing in Brunswick County over a handwritten will and a lot of money. Mainly, the question is, who gets it? WWI Sydney Bouchelle joins us in the studio with more. So, Sydney, this revolves around cats? It does, Randy. 13 cats left behind by a woman with no other family. Now the woman's neighbors and her favorite pet charity are fighting for her estate worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. She needed us to know that we would inherit her entire estate. She was Margaret Taylor, and in this handwritten will, she names Pausability, a nonprofit supporting animal welfare, as the primary executor of her estate. In notes that accompanied the will, Pausability would then donate money to Cattails, the shelter that inherited her only family, her beloved cats. She said, I know you'll take good care of the cats. You're a good friend to me. But the will also lists Margaret's neighbors as beneficiaries if Pausability no longer existed at the time of her passing. Those neighbors are now challenging the will. Both sides have gone to court, and Pausability has been removed as primary executor, and the estate frozen for now. That means there's no money to go to Cattails, which has been taking care of Margaret's 13 cats since February and is struggling for funds. It's not just food and water and litter. And they say it's not the question we should all be asking. What did Margaret Taylor mean to happen? So the fight over the estate goes on. Paul's ability is appealing the court ruling to have them removed as ex executor. They're back in court December 6th. As for Margaret's beloved cats, Six have been adopted, but seven are still being taken care of at Cattails, and we have not yet been able to get a comment from the neighbors on the other side of this. 